that juice, juice, go. New AP. She got that juice. I got you just the entertainment news for Wednesday. Sir Sidney Poitier's life is coming soon to the Broadway stage. This is so exciting. Sidney will uh, come from playwrights Charles Randolph Wright and Tony Award winning actor Ruben Santiago Hudson, who all have the Poitiers family full support behind them. The play will chronicle Sir Sidney's youth here in the Bahamas to his historic success during the golden age of Hollywood as Sir Sidney Poitier became the first black man to win the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1994 for Lilies of the Field. And according to producers, the show explores the nature of sacrifice and commitment pride and humility and the price for artistic integrity. Poitier has inspired many artists in multiple fields and has built an illustrious career as a film icon and activist. He's challenged racial bias and roadblocks in the 1950s and 60s by starring in hit movies like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner and In the Heat of the Night, as well as Lilies of the Field, which of course he won the groundbreaking uh, Academy Award for. So this is just absolutely fantastic. I know Bahamians are so excited. And his daughter, who is also a budding filmmaker, Anika, she will co-produce. So this is just fantastic and exciting news. The lawsuits keep rolling in from the Astro World tra Festival tragedy that led to 10 people dying. Travis Scott, Drake, Live Nation, and others have been hit with lawsuits from victims and concert goers, totaling into the billions. Now, yesterday, a new lawsuit was added, and this law firm is seeking $10 billion for the 1,500-plus Astroworld clients. Now, the law firm is working with several professionals, including a surge stampede expert and others who have knowledge in special event preparations. His firm also have the firm rather is uh, also seeking to have all of the cases related to Astroworld consolidated and not only the victims and attendees have sued but also security guards who work the festival they've also issued a claim as well do you want to be Snoop Dogg's neighbor in the metaverse? Well, it could cost you about 450 grand if that's what you want. That's how much one NFT collector spent last week to own a plot of virtual land in the Snoopverse, an interactive world that Snoop is developing in the uh, sandbox and Ethereum-based platforms for creating and monetizing online hangout spaces and gaming experiences. Oh, you better catch on to this crypto, folks, if you haven't already. And in the Snoopverse, you will find a digital recreation of he, a recreation rather of his real life Diamond Bar, California mansion. And apparently, you'll be able to party along with Snoop Dogg digitally. Um, he will also host private parties. And there will be a digital venue that features concerts. And guests will create their avatars and purchase items, including cars, clothes, and homes. This is what it's come to. We're now not having any contact, but still being able to have a party and spending a ton of money. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like The Sims, but in real life and real time. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the metaverse in recent months as people discuss what's in store for Web3, and the world seems to be quickly shifting into the latest phase on the Internet and online interaction. And, of course, many celebrities are making sure they get in early before it becomes more popularized and available to the masses. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.